Okay, about a million people asked the same thing, which is, are you still married? Have you ever thought about getting a divorce? I saw this and it says satay jellyfish. Will we ever meet your secret lover? Hi sweeties, welcome back to the channel. What do you think of my outfit? I think it's giving like mob wife vibes. Have you seen the mob wife trend on TikTok? That's the vibe I'm getting, like I'm looking a little older. Oh my god, maybe I am a little bit of a mob wife because my wife has been in jail. <laughs> She's not part of the mob though. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> today I am gonna be answering the burning questions you've sent me on Instagram. I feel like there have been a lot of changes in my life in the last few months and uh, y'all are really curious so I'm gonna be answering some really personal stuff and while I do that I'm also gonna be trying some snacks I bought in Asia. So this will be like a traditional golden age of YouTube mukbang Q&A with Asian snacks. Wasn't that the best time in YouTube history? I love that. I'm such a millennial. <laughs> so before we start the video, please subscribe and activate the notifications so you know whenever I post new videos. Also follow me on Instagram and TikTok for daily vlogs and give us a thumbs up because it really helps the channel. By the way, look at my nails. Ooh, they're just press-ons but aren't they cute? Okay, are you ready? Shall we do a snack first or a question first? I would say a snack because I'm hungry. I got most of these things apart from one in Singapore, but that doesn't mean it's necessarily like from Singapore because a lot of people from different parts of Asia live there. This is the first snack. So there's this writing, I would have thought it was either like Korean or Chinese, but then the lady in the packaging is wearing a headscarf. So not sure if that's from Malaysia actually. Let's see if it says where it was made. Haha, I saw some, some stuff in English. It says popular product in Japan and Korea. And the description is sugar boiled confectionery and it's vegetarian. Sounds good to me, it's pink and cute. So let's give it a go. I'm starting with the easy one. You will see there are some weird things coming up like jellyfish and oh my God. Oh my God, it's very soft. Wow, and they come all in like individual packaging like this. I think you're supposed to open it and like suck it. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. Oh my god, the juices are sp spilling out. Oh my god, it's actually it goes tasty. Okay, let's try it. Mm. Mm. What the hell? Mm. Oh my god, that's so weird. Mm. It tastes really nice, but the texture is weird. I like it. Should I rate them? I think I should rate them. That's, that makes it more fun. So I'm gonna rate it a 7 out of 10. Okay, let's answer a question then. Okay, about a million people asked the same thing, which is, are you still married? I understand why people are asking this because I opened up about my marital problems and cried a lot about it, but the answer is yes, I'm still married. I'm still working own things and uh, yeah, still married. <laughs> okay, there will be more questions about that, don't worry, but <laughs> for the time being, let's try a snack. I'm very curious about this. Durian biscuit. So durian is this fruit that is very traditional of that region, like Malaysia, Thailand, and this is the kind of fruit that kind of divides opinions because it has a really horrible smell, but they're really good dishes, they're made with it, and well, some people think they're really delicious and some people think they're horrible. So far, I had two different durian things while I was in Asia, and I absolutely loved one and hated the other. I had this sticky rice with durian, and that was delicious, but then I had a durian ice cream and that was horrendous so this could go either way and also look at the packaging like it looks so different I love it look at them they look like little cakes yeah so this one says product of Malaysia oh they are cute they are adorable oh my god it smells disgusting Oh, I wish you could smell it through the camera because just the smell makes me want to vomit. I hope it doesn't taste like it smells. Okay, let's try. What the fuck? Ah! Oh my god. Oh, it's awful. 
Oh, that was, that's awful. Oh, that tastes like the ice cream I had. That was, oh my God, I'm actually getting sick. Oh my God. That was so bad. I, I usually like everything. I don't remember the last time I spit something out like this. That's what she said. <laughs> Quick, let's have one of the cute little gelatin things. Oh, and now it's, I can still smell it and taste it. It's like, it's not leaving my body. Oh, so gross, so gross. I'm gonna rate this minus 10. <laughs> Let's answer a question. <laughs> Have you ever thought about getting a divorce? Oh, that's that's a loaded question. That's a worse question than, than that biscuit. <laughs> um, I would be lying if I said it didn't cross my mind. It has crossed my mind a few times and uh, we've actually talked about it a lot of times and considered it, but I am trying to avoid that. Like I, I still have hope. So we're trying to work on things, but to be honest, so far not much has changed. <sighs> I know a lot of people have advised me to get divorced, but this is very serious to me, you know, this is a marriage and uh, I made a vow and I want to do my very best to make it work. There's another question that kind of goes with it, which is how do you feel when people keep advising you to divorce your wife? I understand because when friends tell me about their relationship problems, I'm usually like, oh, dump them, you can do better, you know, I'm usually like that. But when you're actually in the relationship, it's completely different and you want it to work because you have so much love for the person. <sighs> so, and so I'm not upset with people or anything, I understand, but at the same time, I'm not gonna go and get a divorce just because people online are telling me to, you know, it has to come from me and it has, has to be my decision, you know, because it's something really personal and serious, but I do appreciate people being worried and trying to help. Okay, what are we trying next? Let's try one that looks good first. Okay, I got this one in Vietnam and I thought it looked really delicious. It just says almond and it has a picture of an almond with like what looks like white chocolate or something good around it. And oh, it's open at the bottom. Oh my God. There are a few different colors. It's like a blue one and an orange one. So I don't know if it's different flavors or not. Let's try a blue one first. I have a feeling this will be good. Like, yeah, that can't go wrong. Look, it's just like almonds. Mmm, that's so good. Mmm, this is what it looks like inside. Can you see? It tastes a bit like white chocolate, but it's more like a cream, like a hardened cream. It's good. Mmm, mm -hmm. I'm gonna rate this 9 out of 10. It's pretty good. Okay, let's answer another question. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. What is it like being with a man after dating women for so long? Strangely enough, it's not as different as I thought it would be. Like, obviously there are physical differences, but when I'm just, you know, hanging out with the person, it's not that different. It's, I don't know if it's because this person, my secret lover, <laughs> is so gentle and sweet. So they almost have like, um, I wouldn't say a feminine aura, but, but it's like quite, quite gentle and sweet. And it's not that different, to be honest. I thought it would be a lot more different. Mm. But one thing that I find super weird is that like when I'm with him and we're around other people who like don't know us, obviously they perceive us as a straight couple. And that is so weird to me because I'm, I'm so used to being perceived as gay. I feel like I want to tell everybody like, I'm queer, I'm queer. But obviously I don't. That would be weird. But yeah, it's a strange feeling. Oh, I keep burping that durian. Next we have crispy fermented bean curd biscuit. I think that's Chinese, this one. Smells decent. I think there's potential. Smells nice, smells sweet. I thought they were gonna be salty but maybe they're sweet let's see i haven't decided yet <laughs> it's okay there's a nice like sweet kind of like maple syrup aftertaste but at the same time it also tastes a little bit like dog biscuits and yes i have tried a dog biscuit before and 
It's a little bit like this. So I'm gonna give it a five out of 10. <laughs> okay, another question. Will we ever meet your secret lover? This is actually something I'm not sure about. We are talking a lot about it. Like the three of us, me, Eileen, and the secret lover. <laughs> we are trying to decide whether that's a good idea or not on a personal level, because he's not used to being exposed to all this. Like there are a lot of things that are amazing about being an influencer and all the love and everything but at the same time there's also a dark side with all the criticism and the stalking there's a lot of stalking that goes on so it's a big decision for someone you know to decide whether they want that for their lives or not so that's really up to him and also like I want to make sure Eileen is comfortable and uh, so we've been the three of us we have been talking a lot about it and uh, asking advice and uh, just trying to decide so it's a possibility but we're not quite sure just yet <laughs> oh god i think i'm gonna have to eat the, the jellyfish now i'm terrified and i also feel guilty i've been eating seafood lately after having been a full vegetarian for 15 years but i don't think it's gonna last because i feel so freaking guilty but i saw this and it says satay jellyfish and i didn't even know you could eat jellyfish so i thought this would be an interesting thing to try like I'm very curious but at the same time I feel bad for the jellyfish and I also think it's gonna be really gross maybe I'll just have a like tiny tiny bite oh uh, it smells horrible it smells like feet <laughs> I'm so scared shall we do it it's sweet I thought it was gonna be salty what the fuck oh my god the texture is horrible oh my god it's so bad. It's sweet and spicy at the same time, which is usually a good thing, but then there's also the actual taste of it and texture that is really gross. And it's stuck to my teeth. Oh my god, oh my god. I think I'm gonna throw up. I mean, I don't mean to criticize anybody's snacks. I'm sure that if anyone went to my country, they would find lots of the snacks gross too. So <laughs> I just just really didn't like it oh my god i'm gonna rate that one minus one the actual like dishes i had in asia were so delicious but the snacks now i can taste the durian and the jellyfish at the same time like it doesn't leave your mouth oh my god let's answer another question how do you keep your hair so healthy as you know i bleach my hair a lot of course otherwise you wouldn't be always pink it's not actually very healthy i have some broken bits but it's been slightly healthier than usual lately because i've been using olaplex have you heard of them it's like um, a hair product that you mix in with the bleach and it kind of protects your hair so that helps but it doesn't solve all your problems and it was already damaged before so i'm working on it it's getting a little better <laughs> i think i'm gonna try another color of the almond things to see if it's different i'm gonna try one of the orange ones mm. Same thing. <laughs> How was your mental health? Are you feeling better? Yes, I am feeling a lot, a lot, a lot better. And two things that helped me a lot is number one, medication. I've been on medication for a few months now and uh, that has completely changed my life. I felt like before the um, depression and anxiety medication, I was having like full-blown panic attacks, breaking things, going really crazy. Like I actually felt like I was out of control. I was a completely different person for a while. Like it was scary, it was scary. And now I'm like myself again, so strange. Like I'm so grateful. And also opening up about things that had been hurting me or weighing on my mind so much. That helped a lot too. I feel so much better, so much lighter now. Yeah, so my mental health has been pretty good. Shockingly, I have it hasn't been good in in years. <laughs> so yeah, it's just good. So yeah, I feel pretty stable right now mentally. Oh my god, I can still taste the freaking durian. I swear. All right, so I think that's gonna be it for today. I hope I answered your most pressing questions. But if you have more, feel free to leave them in the comments. Thank you so 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 much for watching, and have a very very lovely day. Mwah! <laughs>